beautiful, it's Kate, and today we're going to talk about being petty. I think the definition of being petty is having way too much time on your hands, to be dramatic, to keep living in the past, and talking a lot of smack when it's completely unnecessary. Have you ever noticed that once a couple breaks up, there's usually one, sometimes both, that really like to talk poorly about their ex and they say how small his ween was or how loose her ween was and how it was throwing a hot dog down a hallway and just all of these horrible horrible comments about someone that you loved, someone that you were with, even if you didn't love them, you spent your time with them, you were in a relationship with them, apparently you didn't mind throwing your hot dog down the hallway for the past few months or years of your life. I don't get how you can break up with someone and honestly have no respect for them. How do you just let yourself say all these terrible things about someone that you were in love with, like someone that you really cared for, even like talking poorly about a friend that you're not friends with anymore? How do you do that? How do you just lose all respect for someone that was in your heart? I don't get how people can just like turn that on and off. You can go from being this sweet little princess, like this evil, mean, twisted human being, or like this amazing sweetheart of a guy, to like this jerk who just a tool bag. I don't understand how people do that. Like if I love you once, I love you forever. Even if we're not friends, even if you broke my heart, no matter what, I'm there for you, I'm not going to talk about you, and if I do, you really hurt me and I'm going to talk about how bad your personality is. I'm not going to be like, oh, he was ugly anyway. No, like if I thought you were cute and I loved you and I told you you were handsome or I told you you were beautiful, I still think that. Just because we're not friends or we're broken up, it doesn't mean that's gone. Even if it's someone I've never talked to before, and I, but like they were mean to me, if they're beautiful, they're beautiful. She's an ugly B-I-T-C-H anyway. You're not ugly, like if you have a nice butt and you don't like me, I'll still say you have a nice butt. Someone says, oh, who has the nicest butt in school? Oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm not gonna lie about it. I'm not gonna be like, oh, their butt isn't that nice. It is, it is nice, it's a nice butt, like whatever. Oh, who has best hair? Blah, 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 blah. Even if I hate them, I'm not gonna say that they're ugly or they have ugly hair. I'm not gonna do that because it's called just being honest. If you did me wrong, that doesn't make you an ugly person. Maybe it makes you have an ugly soul, an ugly personality. That's something that you can't fix. That's just something that you are. Then that sucks and that's probably why we're not friends if you really do have a unattractive personality or you're mean to people. Ugly personalities are just something you have. If you're not ugly on the outside, I'm not gonna say that you are ugly because you're not. I don't see a point in trash talking someone and going crazy about how ugly they are and just like, oh, we're not friends, so you are you have saggy boobs. Like, no, if I said your boobs were nice and we were friends, I'm not lying about it. You can't go from commenting on an old friend's Instagram photo, fire emojis, and being like, oh my god, you look so sexy, bae. You're so hot. I'm so jealous of you. To like two months later when you're in a fight and be like, that girl looks like a dog. Why do you have to be so petty? Just because that person isn't on your good side doesn't make them ugly. It doesn't take away their beauty. Maybe their inner beauty is long gone. Maybe they have a crappy personality. Whatever. That's a different story. But physically, like, you don't have to lie. You don't have to make it up. Don't tell them they're beautiful if they're not beautiful. Like, if you are friends with someone and you generally don't think that they're, like, gorgeous on the outside, don't sit there and praise them like they look like Jesus. It's just giving credit where credit is due. Like, I can hate you forever, but I can still admit that you're beautiful, that you have beautiful qualities about you. Maybe you have amazing lips. Like, maybe I really love that new hair color you have. Someone says, ew, what do you think about blah blah blah's hair? I'd be like, I love it. You should have respect for your exes. You should have respect for the people you used to be friends with. You should just have respect for people. Let's just hypothetically say, I hated Demi Lovato's voice. I thought she was annoying. I thought she was irritating. I thought she was fake. Whatever. Is she hot? Hell yes! Like, there's plenty of celebrities where I'm like, I hate their personality, I hate what they've said to other people, I hate the message they're sending. If they're attractive, I'm going to admit it. You don't have to sit there and tear people down just because you don't like them. You don't have to be this mean, evil person that just claws at people and makes them upset and makes them cry and I'm gonna make your life a living hell because we're not friends. No, like move on and let it go. They're your ex. Let it go. Like stop talking about them in a negative way. Like stop being 
such a Debbie Downer. Just move on with your life. And the same thing goes for downgrading. If you're in a relationship, you break up, they start dating someone else, you're gonna be like, ew, that girl is such a downgrade. She's so much better than me. Even if you do genuinely think that they are less attractive than you or they are uglier than you, keep it to yourself. Maybe they're making that person way happier than you ever could. No matter what they look like, if they are genuinely laughing more, smiling more, being more positive, they are having a better experience with that other human being that's upgrading and to tell you the truth you probably think they're ugly because they're with your ex let go move on you get your new boo you love them you find someone that makes you happier and when people tell you oh you've downgraded like that guy is way uglier than your ex I don't care like what does that have to do with anything maybe that person makes me laugh more than that guy ever could maybe that person hasn't hurt me maybe that person is trustworthy and incredible and amazing why do you have to stick your nose somewhere where it doesn't belong you're being bitter you're being petty if you want your ex to downgrade and date someone uglier and stop being so focused on the outside and so superficial you need to look deeper than that you need to stop being so hostile all the time just like your ex is happy your ex is happy like that's amazing good for them obviously you haven't moved on if you're pissed off they're dating someone that's hotter than you you should just close that chapter in your life push it away goodbye see you later probably not and when you split up with your friend or split up with your boyfriend or girlfriend don't spill their secrets you guys obviously had a bond, you obviously loved each other, you obviously cared about each other. They told you something that no one's ever known or something that not many people know. They trusted you with something that's very sacred and a secret to them. Don't be petty and share that with people. Oh, we're not friends, so I'm going to let everyone know what you did that night. Like, I'm going to tell everyone what you did when you were eight. They can't take their secrets back. They trusted you, they had a relationship with you, a friendship with you. They can't take that secret they told you back, so you should not be allowed to take that trust they had with you back. That's something that you gave to them. Even if you were dating, you've been together for a year, and you gave them that trust, and then they cheated on you, and it's a big abomination, and you hate them, you hate her, whatever. That doesn't matter. At that time, you gave that person your word. You gave that person respect, and you should still do the same thing six months later, even if he's had sex with your best friend doesn't matter. You should have enough respect for yourself. Be that kind of person that is trustworthy no matter what. Like, don't screw that person over just because they screwed you over. Revenge is ugly. Revenge is so not a pretty color on anybody. Stop doing things to be vicious. Like, stop fighting fire with fire. I know it sucks and I know it's hard, but be the bigger person. You should just be a good person and you shouldn't share people's secrets and you shouldn't talk crap about people. You just shouldn't be petty. Stop with the bitterness. Like, just be positive and be happy and wish good things on people. I love you. Have a good day, night, and life. Thank you for watching. I will see you the Tuesday after next Tuesday. Mwah! Examples are for sex, you know? They're for being a child in private. Everything's so private. Everything's so sexual and private and scary. It's just a nipple. It's on your chest. It's on my chest. It's on everyone's chest.